Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist here. Well, it's after the holidays. <laughs> you ate too much, drank too much. <laughs> ate a few things you weren't supposed to. <laughs> Put on some extra pounds. Uh, and you're feeling really sluggish and you don't have the get up and go. And you've got some aches and pains. And, you know, you're... You want to get back to where you were before the holiday started. And so, one of the great ways to do that is to get your liver back in shape. <laughs> it's taking a beating over the holidays, you know, and New Year's and Christmas and Thanksgiving. And, and so here we are uh, towards the end of January, you know, middle of January, end of January, and we need to uh, get our liver back in shape. So how do we do that? There's three important ways to do that. Uh, first of all, there's a very simple way, which is to take milk thistle capsules, you know, follow the direction on the bottles. It depends on the uh, milligrams they are uh, and the manufacturer of them. Uh, take that. I would recommend milk thistle, burdock root, and dandelion root, those three together. And take them for probably two or three days in a row, depends on the on the person. Usually three days in a row does a really good job. And boy, you may feel a little down during those three days, but uh, it's doing, what it's doing is cleansing your liver. It's trying to get all those toxins out of your, your, your liver so you can start to pick up your metabolism, start to lose weight, uh, start to feel good again. Uh, get rid of some of the aches and pains because of all those toxins in your body. And uh, milk thistles have been around forever. And in fact, uh, sometimes I buy the milk thistle seeds and roast them and <laughs> just crunch on them. They're kind of crunchy. It's kind of like eating sunflower seeds. Uh, and they do a really good job. Now, burdock root is a little kind of bitter, so I don't recommend that with that. Uh, same with dandelion root. You can get... Um, I think there's a chicory root, dandelion root blend called uh, Dandy Blend. Uh, and I, it's a beverage, and it has a lot of dandelion in it, root in it, and it does a really good job. And so you can take the capsules, you can take the powders, you know, whatever way you want to take them, uh, uh, and that will do a great job of detoxing your liver. Another great way is to do green juices. You know, green juices have been around for a long time, and they do a wonderful uh, healing of the liver. I mean, most people don't eat enough raw greens in general, but to take a couple cups of any kind of green, I don't care if it's spinach or you have, uh, you know, uh, green beet tops or you have uh, rutabaga tops or anything, and put them in the blender, or you could use uh, romaine lettuce, put that in the blender, three or four or five ice cubes, uh, if you want a little honey or stevia in there, a little water, blend it up and drink that, and do that for three or four days straight, and that's a really great cleanse for the liver, and also for the whole body in general. I mean. Uh, another great thing, because uh, of that, you're actually getting light uh, packets of, in, of, of photons into your body, and then this is science now, actually, that the energy of the, the light goes right into our body from the raw uh, fruits and veggies, especially the greens, and we have actually scientific studies showing this now. This is not uh, some kind of spiritual process that we're going through or talking about. This is science that's showing this. We actually pick up light energy. And that would be good because we, you know, are kind of in this dark air time of the year in January so we can meet all the light we can gather. <laughs> so that's another great way to detox. Uh, also, uh, is coffee enemas, even the great Gerson clinics. So Dr. Max Gerson recommended doing coffee enemas. And to take enemas, uh, take about a liter of 
organic coffee that you've brewed in a particular way. If you look up my other video and talking about coffee enemas, you can see that whole pro procedure there. And that does a really great job of detoxing the liver and the body in general also, and it really helps with pain. If you have pain that you're dealing with on a regular basis, have maybe you have arthritis or you have something that you don't want to take all opiates or anything for, then you might want to consider doing some coffee enema. And also it'll really pick up your metabolism. You'll start to lose weight and you start to feel great, feel great again, and uh, if that sluggish feeling will disappear. And it's very quick and easy to do. Uh, some people had an aversion to doing enema, but you know, once a month, I don't think that's uh, very hard, hard to ask for people to do one a month. Uh, you can take and do one a week if you wanted to also, but uh, it's really not needed unless you have some big process going on. But that will really cleanse your liver in an amazing way. And I highly recommend uh, coffee enemas. Uh, they, I've seen miracles happen with them. I mean, people don't know how many toxins they have in their body that are impinging upon their process of healing. And we can't heal if we have all these toxins going on. And uh, right now when we have a whole lot of uh, chemicals in our food, it's really not good. And we have, you know, six to six cancer causing chemicals we have 10 to 12 hormone disrupting chemicals in our food and 10 other disease causing chemicals and some foods actually have another 10 or or 20 depending on the food you know average potato is about 35 a average tomato is about 35 also uh parsley is about 40. Uh, amazing how many chemicals we have in our food and we are ingesting these on a regular basis you know and then anybody who eats meat I don't eat meat because I'm a vegan and I don't think it's healthy but uh, a huge amount of chemicals we're probably looking at uh, 70 80 chemicals at a time because you're also getting hormones too and uh, so a huge amount of chemicals and that's just a day and age that we live in plus the heavy metals that we have going on so uh, we need to detox our body as much as possible. And so the coffee enemas are a great way to do that. And uh, I tell you, at first you'll have this uplifting light feeling also. And it's pretty simple. You make the coffee, I think it's three tablespoons uh, to uh, a liter of water as, uh, for automatic grind. And you put it into the water, uh, the coffee, and you heat it until it boils for about 20 minutes. Let it cool down to uh, body temperature. Put it into an enema bag. Uh, lay on your right side and put insert the tube in. Open up the uh, clamp and allow the, the um, coffee to flow in. And when it's all flowed in, uh, then shut off the clamp, remove the tube, and lay there for about 15 minutes and sometimes it's difficult uh, especially if you haven't done it you know ever before so get up when you can't hold it anymore and evacuate I, I mean after a while you get used to uh, doing this it's a low enema also you don't want a high enema you want to put the, the tube in just a short ways and because the you know portal veins are down at the distal colon and it helps to bring the, the uh, chemicals in the coffee up and to go into the liver and help it to express itself and get rid of all these chemicals that are going on and so you don't want a high like a high colonic or anything like that you want a, a low enema and then uh, you get up and evacuate it on the toilet and uh, uh, you'll feel so much better it's almost immediate in fact and it, it's amazing what that can do for you so it's a three simple ways to uh, feel better. I'm going to add another fourth one, uh, just an extra one also. It's also going on my diet. And uh, cleansing, cleansing what we're eating, first of all. 
you know what I mean, and going on organic diet, and I get a lot of people saying, well, I can't afford organics. Well, you can't afford organics if you go and look in my diet, and you contract with a uh, organic farmer near you and they deliver to your door and it'll cost you less than what uh, regular food costs in the market so boy it's a win-win situation you're gonna save money and become healthy at the same time and then follow my diet exactly uh, we're gonna get rid of all the processed foods we're gonna get rid of all the chemicals we're gonna get rid of all this stuff and uh, and we're going to get rid of the toxins because you know, we now know that any time we eat any kind of animal product, it creates a trimethyl anoxide toxin, which uh, starts inflammation in the body, and the inflammation starts creating disease, whether it be cancer, whether it be you know diabetes, whether it be uh, arthritis, well, the, all kinds of different things. And this is a major, major challenge. Also, we're going to get rid of a lot of other things that are toxic to the body. And uh, so that following my diet exactly, I have seen miracles happen. And people change completely. I've seen people lose 100 pounds. I've seen people uh, get rid of diseases uh, that they had. I've seen people heal up their diabetes. They go on it, they're taking insulin, and, um, and a month later they're no longer taking insulin. I've seen people, you know, all kinds of diseases. Just, I've seen people with uh, rheumatoid arthritis. All of a sudden, their arthritis disappears. And yes, you have to stay on the diet for the rest of your life. <laughs> I get that from people. You know, oh, but well, that's not a, a way to heal this uh, process. You've got to stay on this for the rest of your life. Yeah. If you start putting toxins back in, that's not going to be good. <laughs> <laughs> we have to stay on a healthy diet, and that's important. Uh, and when we stay on a healthy diet, a lot of things change. Uh, we uh, not only see changes in our body, we also see changes in our mental attitude, and we start to open up our ability to uh, do different things. And People who would never exercise before, all of a sudden, after they dropped all this weight, decide, wow, I, I really need to exercise. So they start exercising, and the, uh, boy, they they look really fit and in good shape. You know, they, when you drop 100 pounds, you, you drop another person. <laughs> you all of a sudden decide, wow, I'm really good. Uh, and you want to you want to make these huge changes in your life. And, uh, and you want to tell other people, too. So it's, it's really powerful. It can make uh, mental changes in a person also because they feel happy about the, who they are and what they're doing and what their life is all about and where they're headed in life. And because a lot of times when you're doing a lot of chemicals, uh, toxic chemicals in food and that type of thing, it shortens our lifespan. Eventually, we're going to have some disease coming you know, do the two by four effect on us and uh, slap us across the side of the head and say, wow, well, we need to wake up. We need to wake up. But sometimes it's sometimes it's too late by then. So as soon as you can, uh, go to my website, www.paulhader.com. That's P-A-U-L-H-A-I-D-E-R.com. And up in the right-hand corner there, you'll see my diet. And click on that and scroll down, and you'll see uh, lots of information, lots of supportive studies, and lots of information. Uh, and keep scrolling down. The diet is kind of towards the end. And you'll see some pictures of me. From, I lost 40 pounds in three weeks also uh, um, when I first start, started this diet many years ago. And uh, I work out great. I'm at six almost 65 now and I uh, feel great. I walk seven miles a day, you know, work out with the weights, um, do crunches and pull-ups and I feel super. So that's a fourth additional added plus way of detoxing your body. Uh, so we first to recap all that, we have you know milk thistle, burdock root, dandelion root, those three taken together. That's a really great way to do this. You have the green juices, which are really great. This is also in my diet, too. 
Also, the coffee enemas, which I highly stress, they're also in my diet. And the last way is my diet, which is a, a great way to heal the body in general and feel good and um, make some huge changes in your life. And January is a great month to do that. So if you want to get a hold of me in any way, shape, or form, hit show more down below at my email and Skype address is there and uh, my phone number too. But if you want me to respond and send you information, it's probably better with email or Skype or Messenger on Facebook. That works too. Uh, also, uh, if you want to just say hello and talk, it's great. I'd love to hear you on the phone. I uh, have people call me on a regular basis. And uh, all my consultations are free, whether they be spiritual or rural. And uh, if you would love to subscribe, that would be great. I appreciate that. And if you care to make a donation, uh, me and my wife and I live on Social Security, so I really appreciate that. Uh, you can hit down below. You look down below, show more, and there's a donation link there also. And there's one also for patron if you want to. If you're a follower of mine and you want to make a monthly donation, I greatly appreciate that too. So if you want to get a hold of me, if you have some questions about what I talked about today, uh, feel free. And uh, I'm sure you're going to be in the pink after doing your detoxing of your liver. And feeling good, feeling great. And remember, I love you.